Welcome Aquarius to your main love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into the reading and see what's coming through for you guys. At the end of the reading, we will pull, pull these lovers of Oracle cards and these hidden truth messages from your person. So let's pull some of these cards and then we'll go straight into the Soul Cards Tarot deck. We have the Four of Wands in reverse. We have the King of Swords in reverse, the Moon, and the Queen of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands here and the Three of Cups in reverse. Now keep in mind this reading may not resonate. Sorry about that with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. All right, ooh, we have the Ace of Cups, so new beginnings coming in. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Strength card, and the Mutual Energies is the Lovers. The Eight of Cups, ooh, okay, yeah. So something new is coming in after walking away from someone else. There's the moon again coming in really strong. So this is what you don't see coming. And the king of swords outcome. Okay, so we have the eight of cups and two of pentacles and two of wands. Okay, so with this king of swords energy, it's kind of frustrating because it's like right when you're about to start something new, this king likes to come in and disrupt it. <laughs> It's like, oh, they come out of nowhere. Um, this could be a past person that you're dealing with or maybe like a twin flame energy where there's a lot of passion and chemistry here. But it's like every time you possibly move on, sorry about the background noise, every time you're possibly about moving on or talking to someone new, I feel like this person just like knows it or something, right? Um, but that's for some of you. Now this could have happened in the past, present, or something you're coming out of. We do have the two of wands here twice, okay? So this is a very independent Aquarius that I'm connecting with, yes, who feels whole within themselves. Could be a confused going in and out of emotions regarding love situations. But the two of wands is already making a choice. It really is. It's at your, you're at a crossroads, but the choice is already made. It's just now just taking the action. We do have you coming in again, very independent, feeling whole within yourself. But I feel like you are needing to use your energy, the queen of swords, and be blunt and honest with within a situation to where you're cutting somebody off, right? The Eight of Cups is walking away. Now it's walking away to the unknown, walking away to the moon. There could be some fear of perception of what it could be in the future, but I feel like with this Ten of Cups energy is that that's what you're wanting. And I feel like that's what's gonna be coming in, right? Um, Cause the strength card with the moon is just having that fear of like, what is gonna happen next? And I feel like that is you overcoming this with this strength card because you're knowing you're only wanting truth and honesty, right? And you're not wanting more, any more BS. So a lot of you could have left a situation or just kind of like leaving something behind emotionally because you're, you're using your intuition here as the queen of cups, okay? So I do feel like this is you also using this queen of cups energy, um, and leaving somebody very cold because somebody who's very nurturing, loving, and caring. So you knew that you did everything you can within this relationship. It's just like you're wanting something more. So it's like a choice between lovers or a choice between love. Um, and this could even be like you choosing yourself here, okay? And just trusting the universe and knowing it's gonna catch you in the end. So I feel like a lot of you are holding on to faith at this time when going through certain types of situations. Um, but it's not easy to walk away or to leave someone behind. But I do feel like the more and more that you start gaining that strength and that courage to trust, you know, the the unknown, it's like you're you're developing this fearless type energy here. Okay, we do have the two of wands and we have this ace of wands here, which is a new passionate beginning okay now there could be another air sign um somebody that was possibly very cold inconsistent you know not really showing so much emotion here and then there's someone else coming in to where i feel is because there's a new passionate beginning 
Then we have this Queen of Pentacles and the Hair Fin. So you're, tr yeah, this is you going down the best path for you, holding on to your spirituality and only wanting um, that give and take relationship, right? Not wanting to feel left out in the cold anymore. Let's see what this person has to say to you. It's like a new found love or a new interest or something renewed here, like maybe a recommitment. But I do feel like you're not wanting anything less than what you deserve. So there could be second chances here, but I do feel a lot of you are going towards something new. Let's see what this person has to say with the inner truths. Finding out the truth crushed me and I feel you even though we are apart and I hide behind mirror, um, material things. Let's get a couple more. Take what resonates with you guys. I left when I saw you with someone else and you don't know how hard it was to let you go. I regret lying to you. So a lot of you could already have someone else you're communicating with or talking to and you were the best thing in my life. I feel like they could have treated you better, right? If you left somebody out in the cold, especially if they're holding this, you know, a knight of so or king of swords energy in reverse, which is very cold and less compassionate, a lot of games and manipulation that you could have dealt with. And um, it's like they're regretting, you know, everything because you were the best thing in their life. Let's see what the messages of love oracles has to say. What needs to come through? We have chemistry. The attraction you feel is mutual. Ooh. Soulmate, your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Now, I believe you can have more than one soulmate, but self-care, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Um, so this could be a soulmate coming in or you could have dealt with a soulmate that possibly went down the wrong path, you know. There we go. Awakening and we have vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person and someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. It's a big awakening happening here. And integrity. I love this. Does this situation align with your values and morals? So let's grab some lovers of oracles and see what other messages are needing to come through. We have give thanks for the blessings of love to soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. A lot of you are having a new passionate beginning. Deep in your heart, you already know the uh, answer. Do what feels right. And life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create an unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Then we have a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. All right, guys, if you do like this reading or if it helped in any way, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys soon. God bless.